Hi guys, I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how I did this fancy braided updo, perfect for special occasions or of course the holidays. And the best part is, it's so much easier than it looks. If you can do a regular free strand braid, you can do this hairstyle, I promise you. We are going to start off by brushing our hair. Once you brush it all through, you're going to take a section of hair at the top of your head, just like I did, and braid it in a regular free strand braid. While you're braiding, make sure to pull it in the direction you'd like your braid to lay on your head. After you do the first few passes of your braid, the direction you're pulling your braid in is less important than at the start of your braid. When I get to the end, I'd like to tie it off with a little elastic, but if you have less slippery hair, you could also just leave it untied. Next, I'm going to be creating two more braids, one on each side of my face. Once again, pulling my hair to the back of my head while I'm braiding. I don't worry about making them the same size and thickness as each other, because the different size braids give for a more dynamic updo later on. The next step is completely optional, but if you'd like your final rolled up braid to look more like a rose, you can pull out and fluff your braid before you continue on. I don't always do this, but it does make for a more dramatic look. After I finish off my first three braids, I start rolling up my center braid. I'm basically making a pink curl out of my braid. After I finish rolling up, I use some pins to keep it in place at the back of my head. and your first little pink curl braid is done. We are now going to be repeating this for my other braids. So I grab my next braid, pull it against my head where I'd like my braid to lay, and then wrap the ends around my finger to create a rolled up braid at the end. Then place that against your head and once again pin in place. For these first two braids, I like it if they kind of mirror each other in their placement on the back of my head, as you can see. When I'm happy with the first two, I'll grab my third place and I like to place this one right in between the other two, creating this kind of upside down triangle with my three braids. I'm once again rolling it up and pinning it in place. As you can see, you can get so creative with how and where you pin your braids in place. You definitely don't have to copy me, just do what feels natural to you. Now, sometimes I just leave my hair at this, just three braids in a half updo. I really like how this looks, and it's pretty quick to do when you get the hang of it. But to elevate this hairstyle to the next level, I'm going to be braiding the rest of my hair. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. For the bottom part, I'll be making four braids. But depending on my mood, I'll do anywhere from 1 to 6 braids at the bottom of my hair. This updo is very versatile depending on your hair length and thickness, you can just easily adjust the amount of braids you use. Now for the last 4 braids, I'm not going to be making the braids any more fluffy or pulling it out, because I have pretty thick hair. 
but you can of course do this again if you prefer. After finishing off my four braids, I can start getting creative with the placements of my braids. As you can see, my preferred way of pinning these is pulling the braids to the other side of my head and then rolling up the remaining part of my braid. I'm also trying to prevent overlapping my braids too much. I'm mostly focused on feeling where I place my last braid and kind of pushing the next braid against the last one to create this intricate patch of braiding at the back of my head. Like I said before, this is a very versatile updo, so depending on your hair length, style and thickness, you might want to adjust how many braids you use, how you roll them up and where you place them. I definitely recommend playing around with this hairstyle because it allows you to get as creative as you want and will probably look slightly different each time you do it anyway. The braids are also a great way of keeping pesky layers in place and I found that braided pink curls, as I like to call these, take a lot less hairpins to keep in place than regular pink curls. As long as you take this hairstyle one braid at a time, it's super easy to do. You can even experiment with different kind of braids, maybe add a fishtail or an infinity braid. The possibilities are endless. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love if to hear this hairstyle worked for you, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!